to the Jacaranda Cottage home night vlogs. <laughs> Tonight we are going to do what Mel and I have always wanted to do, which is to start our own cooking channel. Okay, actually also what we're going to do is bring you one of the most fabulous uh, living skills that you could possibly get. It is winter time, it is getting chilly, the cardigans are coming out. Look at us twinning. The mustard cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyway, so obviously what we are going to do is we are going to, it's obvious, we're making a chicken soup. Not just for the soul, in the literal. How do you feel about that, Melon? I'm pretty excited. You know, chicken soup is one of those super comforting foods. It's really good for you, it's cheap, and so yeah, I can't wait to share it with you today. I'm very excited. I will not be sampling, but I will be enjoying <laughs> the time. All right, let's do it. Okay, Mel, so why don't you run us through how it is that we make this so-called chicken soup? Glad you asked, Chrissy. So to make this chicken soup, you just need some really basic ingredients that are available, like they're pretty cheap and available most of the year. So we need like two onions, two carrots, a couple of celery sticks, two zucchinis, and two turnips or two sweets. So it's pretty simple to remember like two of each of these vegetables. I love how you're actually saying the specific quantities. For me, I would just eyeball that. About that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, just remember, yeah. Well, if you would do, want to do half of it, just one of everything. Um, that's a good rough ratio. But we had a lot of um, extra zucchini and celery sitting around in the frigid jack and I couldn't bear to let it go to waste. So we're doing double, so there'll be loads. I'm gonna freeze half of it. So when I'm feeling lazy one night, I can just pull it out and dinner or lunch is good to go. Sounds so good. I love do cooking big and freezing. It just makes it heaps easier. Because even though I love cooking, I don't like cooking every single night of the week. So my one of my first tips is to <laughs> always do batch cooking, like cook in bulk either on the weekend or one night when you've got a bit of extra time. It does, it's not that much harder to just cook, tw like to do twice the amount, um, but your tired self is gonna thank you later when you don't have to spend money on takeaway when you're feeling tired and lazy because we all have those nights. Um, but you can just pull out of the freezer um, something you prepared earlier. So, All right, so what are the steps? This is really simple. You get... Um, you don't stab yourself with a knife. drop your spoon. Wait, that's a spoon. Um, <laughs> so we need two litres of stock. Now there's two options here. You can go with... This is like nice quality. Um, even though it's only the Coles brand, this is only about a dollar seventy-ish. Um, and that is really nice if you can afford it. Or otherwise, just the powdered stock. So one teaspoon of this per cup of water. This is really fine as well, and this is super cheap. This is about $2 for the whole thing. So for this amount, we're only gonna use about, I think 30 cents or 40 cents worth of um, stock for this. So depending on budget, if you want a bit more luxurious soup, you can splash out and get the real stock. Otherwise the powdered stuff is fine. It's still gonna taste really good and it makes it even cheaper. Yum. So we're gonna put the stock on. Oh, I'm gonna go fancy today. Mm. I can do this, so just pour Treat it yourself, Mel. Treat, Treat yourself. yourself. So you get a big pot. Don't get stingy on the size of your pot. Make sure there's lots of space because you're gonna put lots of things in here. So two liters of stock in your big pot. This is really easy. You don't have to be a good cook to make this. Your friends are going to be impressed and your stomach is going to thank you. And so are your taste buds. And then all we do is chuck everything in. Oh, that sounds hard. Yeah. So just put everything in. So that was two litres of stock, two onions, two carrots, mm. two celery. Try not to drop too much on your way in. Otherwise, then... Chris, Chris will just eat it off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Then we've got two zucchinis and two swedes or turnips. Now, swedes and turnips, I'm not really sure what the difference is between them. They look very, very similar. Um, the shops didn't have any swedes today, so I've got turnips, but they're pretty much the same vegetable. So it doesn't matter which one you use. And... We're gonna bring that up to the boil. So put it on the highest heat that you have. Can I just ask you a quick question, Mel? Yes, you can ask me. What if you think, and I know you wouldn't be afforded this luxury in the jack pad, yes. but if you thought turnips and swedes were gross, yep. or you thought carrots were really gross, or yep. you thought celery was really gross, what would you do? Could you still make this soup? 
you can you can just like switch them out and have a bit of extra of something else so if you don't like turnips or swedes you can just do an extra zucchini or an extra carrot if you don't like carrot or you don't have any carrot in your fridge just do a bit of extra something else so, so it sounds like what you're saying is this is the soup to just whatever it is that's in your fridge whack it in the thing nearly so what like vegetable wise vegetables just like your root vegetables yes so it is very adaptable it is this is like a basic there's lots of different varieties of chicken soup out there like chicken vegetable soup um so if you are a vegetarian like yourself hey. um instead of we're gonna once this comes to the boil i've got some chicken i'm just gonna throw in there and let that cook um, but if you're a vegetarian, use vegetable stock instead of the chicken stock. Mm -hmm. And to bulk it out a bit, you can put in some split peas or some lentils, um, and that will help give it just some extra body and fill you up as well. Mm. And it will still taste delicious. Delish. Yep. Nice. Yes. So, All right. So now is it just a waiting game? It is a waiting game. Right. So yeah, if you're vegetarian, it's like what red arm um, lentils look like. Mm -hmm. in bulk. These are really cheap as well. Um, and same with the um, split peas. They're really cheap as well. So. Why would I eat Oh, them? sorry. This is pearl barley, this one. Pearl <laughs> barley. <laughs> yes. Why would I eat pearl barley or split peas or lentils? So they just give you... I think there's protein in there. But anyway, they just kind of fill you up and they're cheap as well. So they're really good if you're vegetarian or you want to have some meat-free uh, meals during your week. One of my favorite soups I've discovered this winter... Uses the red lentils and the pearl barley, mm -hmm. and it has a little bit of turmeric in there Ooh, as well yeah. as like garlic. Um, so it's kind of a similar recipe to this, and I'm putting some green beans. Um, yeah, there's so many different kind of soups out there. Going into winter, um, soups are a great thing to get into because they're really easy to make. Normally, you just kind of throw everything, let it simmer away, and then the flavors develop and it becomes delicious. And they're normally pretty cheap as well. They're pretty economical and they fill you up. You can have it with a piece of bread or toast um, as well to help like fill you up if you want some extra carbs. If you're trying to eat low carb in the evenings or you're just not feeling that hungry, then you can just have the soup on its own. So soups are a great thing to get into this season. They're cheap, they're healthy and they're delicious. And there's so many different types. Um, yeah, it's a great thing to give a go this winter. Okay, sounds good. Let's play the waiting right. mail. So let's talk chicken, because you've just put vegetables in a chicken stock thing. Is that really a chicken soup? Yes, the one ingredient to go is the chicken. So I've got a couple of chicken breasts here. Mm. Now we can Are you going to cut that? No, you can just chuck it in. Really? For those of you who don't like touching raw chicken breast because it's a bit gross, just throw it in. You don't even have to touch it. Just throw it in and it will simmer away and it'll cook in the stock and then once it's all cooked through so you're going to leave this to come let it come to the boil so what boil means is when you see it all bubbling away when you can actually see physical bubbles popping up that means it's come to the boil so once it comes to the boil then we'll turn the heat down onto low and let it simmer away for about half an hour um, and by then the chicken will have cooked through then you can like get your tongs, grab the chicken out and just kind of shred it up and then throw the chicken back into the soup. So you don't have to touch the raw gross chicken, which I know lots of people don't like. Just chuck it in, let it cook for about half an hour um, and then, yeah, just cut it up afterwards. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. It's all right. It's that easy. So this is what I mean by bring it to the boil. See how it's bubbling there? It's really boiling away. All right, now it's come to the boil. Turn it down to low. Turn down low and let it simmer for a bit longer until the vegetables are tender and the chickens cook through for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes for you. Now that's a good simmer. Mm. So now's the part, Mel, where we talk numbers, which, yes. yes, you love cooking, but you also like maths, you big nerd. I do. And I'm so, a big nerd at heart. Let's talk maths. What is this soup going to cost me? What's it going to do to my back pocket? All right. So this is really economical. I've priced it on my little post-it here. Look at you Roughly go. what all the ingredients are. I looked at how much they cost and then divided it up by, um, you know, how many, how much I used of that thing. So basically, the stock, depending on if you use the powder or the the liquid one, mm -hmm. um, is ranges from fifty cents to about three dollars thirty eight. The carrots, the two carrots were forty five cents. The two celery sticks about two dollars. The two onions were about eighty cents. 
the two swedes or turnips were about three dollars eighty the two zucchinis were about two dollars um, the chicken breast was about four dollars fifty so all together to make all that which will be about eight servings is about sixteen dollars ninety and so when you divide that up by the eight servings it's about a dollar seventy to two dollars per serve so it's a really cheap meal. When you think of how much you would spend on Uber Eats to, for dinner. What? Feeling, there are people buying Uber Eats? There are people. I'm a bit of a tired option, so I rarely get Uber Eats, but I know a few of you are a fan. Um, so just remember how much you're spending on that when, if you can just be a little bit organized, you saw how quick that was. That's only about five minutes to chuck everything into the pot. It's going to cost you less than $2 per serve. And so when you're feeling tired, when you're feeling lazy, if you've had a big day, just pull it out of the freezer and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So less than $2 per serve. It's really cheap, healthy, and it saves you when you're feeling tired. Also, as you say, when we're allowed to have a crowd to our house yes. for dinner, it is a great winter crowd pleaser. It is a great one. If you have friends over, you don't have to break the bank. You don't have to spend $50 or $100 feeding people. This is less than like $20 to feed eight people. So that's a really good option for you. And it's so comforting. It's like a big warm hug, chicken soup. Mm -hmm. If you have a friend who's not feeling well, you can make some chicken soup and give it to them and it'll be mm -hmm. like a big warm hug. Yeah. So yeah, nice. chicken soup, get it on your menu. <laughs> all right, so the soup's all finished now. So this is what it looks like in the end. You can come and have a look. All the chicken's cooked through. I pulled it out and broke it up into small pieces. So it's all ready to eat. Delicious, nice and comforting. Don't burn your tongue. Mm. So hearty, so delicious, so easy, quick and simple. You saw how easily I did that. So give chicken soup a go this winter. So there you have it. That's our masterclass with Mel. And it's been a dream come true because Mel and I have always wanted to have our yeah. own cooking show. Yeah. So woohoo! Tick that off the list. <laughs> no, Mel, we're going to revisit that. Anyway, anyway. This has been our home night vlogs. Before we go, I want to tell you that the challenge for you is to make sure that you make some chicken soup. For our vegans and our veggies out there, like moi, make yourself a ve veggie soup, maybe some of those lentils or whatever you've got to put in it. But I'm really looking forward to warming up on my winter night. Mm, give it a go, you won't regret it. Indeed. Thanks for joining us and keep your fluids up. See you later.